so beautiful out today. I don't know if you guys can hear the ocean, hear the waves in the background, but it is like so magical. So I think today we're gonna go to the grocery store. We're gonna load up on groceries and I'll show you guys like how simple we eat. I think a little later we'll hit up some fruit stands and maybe a little like produce market to get some fresh produce. And then we're gonna hit the beach. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what we get to wake up and look at. It is so pretty. Look at this. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm gonna show you what we picked up so far at Walmart. We're gonna hit a couple produce stands and some little local markets to get more fruit and fresh Food because I really couldn't find any at Walmart, but I got hot sauce. I found some oil-free Italian dressing that will do the job for while we're here. We got some pasta sauce. I think for dinner, we're gonna do like veggies and pasta. We also got some potato gnocchi, which we love. Brown rice for burrito bowls. So we got some beans and chickpeas, I got some corn, and then just some fat-free refried beans. But yeah, we've got stuff basically for like burrito bowls and pasta and gnocchi for right now. So I'll show you guys once we go to the market and get more food. So she cut, yeah, she cut open your coconut, huh? Yep. And now you've got the meat. That's awesome. Yummy. Vegan meat. Ve vegan meat, absolutely. All right, so we just got a bunch of fruit from the fruit stand. We got some papaya and mango. We got some guava, some coconut. Look at the lychee. I don't know if I've ever had lychee fresh, so give that a try. And then we got some variety packs. All right, now we're gonna head down to Shark Cove to do some snorkeling and it looks really cool. So it's really great to bring the kids here because it's really protected from the open waters and it's great. There's a ton of fish, it's shallow, it's perfect for the kids. All right, so here's my rice and chickpeas. I'm gonna have a bunch of fruit and then a salad. All right, so yeah, we are keeping lunch super simple. We kind of just go out early in the morning and beach hop and do whatever we want to do. And then we come back. It's just less work than packing a lunch and everything's really close here. We'll probably pack our lunch a few times while we're here. I think my husband just set off the smoke alarm. I don't know what else we're gonna do today. We're probably just gonna hit the beach some more. Later this week, we're gonna do some hikes and see some waterfalls and just enjoy our time. Walking up to the house, it's got beautiful plants everywhere. But what it most excites me about this house is this wrap around porch and the view. So you just walk back. And we've been having breakfast, lunch, and dinner at this table every single day just because the views. Why wouldn't you? 
and then you wrap around this way and the deck just goes all the way back to the back room there but here is that view Okay, so this is walking in and it just looks straight back to the ocean. It is so beautiful. It is a cute little bungalow and there's just windows and views everywhere. And this is the cute little living room and right when you walk in there's like this little breakfast table and this looks out towards the front. But here's the little living area and then the kitchen is fantastic it's perfect all the pots and pans lots of room to work and then back here are the bedrooms and bathroom All right, so I'm just gonna make some bean wraps for the beach. They're just gonna be a snack, so I'm not gonna like really, you know, overfill them or anything. We just need them to hold us over until we either grab some lunch or come back and make some lunch. So I just put some canned fat-free refried beans on here and some avocado. And these whole wheat tortillas are just whatever I could find at the market. They didn't have a huge selection, so we're just making do. I'm gonna add some red onion and a little salsa. And of course, you guys know me, I add cilantro to everything. And then I found these gorgeous sprouts at the market the other day. So I'm going to put some sprouts in there. And then some of these yummy greens. And I'm just going to wrap it up and we will head to the beach. All right, so we're just hanging at one of these beaches here off the road. And we've got some fruit. And then I've got our wraps that we made earlier. So we're just gonna snack and then we'll probably eat more food when we get back because we work up quite an appetite.
All right, so here is the plumeria tree and you can see all the beautiful plumeria blossoms and they're falling. So we are collecting them to make a lay, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You shaking the bugs out? Yep. All right. <laughs> well, we have lots. Let's go see how your lay comes out. <laughs> Going in? Mm -hmm. All right, they smell good, huh? Beautiful. Making it out of plumeria. It's plumeria. Yeah, look how pretty that is. All right, show us your lay. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness, you look so cute. The cat is back. <laughs> yep. There's like this cat that just keeps hanging out. I almost feel like <laughs> it must live here. Yeah, plus there's a cat dish outside. I know, there's a cat dish. What should we name him? I feel like we need to name him. Butterscotch. Butterscotch, okay. Your name is Butterscotch for the week. So, I think I'm just gonna have spaghetti again for dinner. Last night I had gnocchi and I completely forgot to show you guys. So I'm probably just gonna eat salad and spaghetti again tonight. We had our wraps during the day. And then I think tomorrow we'll show you guys, we're gonna grab some food at the Sunrise Shack, which is one of my favorite spots. Cause they have really good smoothie bowls and a really good vegan wrap. But yeah. All right, so for dinner, I'm gonna have some spaghetti and some Ezekiel bread, and then I made this big salad here. And then I just bought like some store-bought fat-free Italian dressing for that, but super simple. by the waves in Kahuku, I think. Um, some followers told me that this restaurant, Raised by the Waves, is really good. It's really good vegan food, so we're gonna order some sandwiches and I will show you guys, I'm super excited. All right, so we got next door to the Raised by Waves. There's a fresh pressed juice bar, so we got some watermelon, lime, and some sweet greens and then some fresh pineapple. So we're still waiting for our sandwiches so we're just gonna enjoy some juice. Yeah. All right here's the grilled panini. Yum! Should be really good. Alright, so here's my mini grocery haul from Celestial, the little the, the little natural foods market here in Haliva. Super cute. Got some fresh greens and sprouts. So
Sorry, got you on camera. <laughs> there he is. Rare sighting. <laughs> So I think right now we are going to head to the pineapple plantation, to the Dole pineapple plantation and do the little train ride there. The kids really wanted to do that. I think it'll be cute. So I'll show you guys. All right, so you have on the perfect outfit for the pineapple tour today. Pineapple. Another smoothie bowl? Yep. Yeah. That's all to myself. It's a good smoothie bowl. Alright, so lunch today is a super simple burrito bowl. Just got some grilled onions in there, some corn, rice, beans, salsa on some greens with some avocado. Alright, so the kids are trying lychee for the first time. And it is this fun looking fruit. We have one that's similar in the Yucatan and it's called a waya. Okay, so it's white. All right, go ahead and try it. What do you think? Pretty good. Pretty good. Mm. Really good? Tastes, yeah, it tastes like a grape, but not Like a grape, like okay. Like I wanna, I wanna try one now. Not a tart, it's really good. That is interesting. I really like it. All right, so we are just having a quick bite to eat and then we're heading out on a um, catamaran and it leaves out of Haliva Bay up here, just off the North Shore. And we're gonna go out for a few hours and go to some different snorkeling spots. So it should be a lot of fun. It's been really great. It's on Lanakai Beach, which has been the most beautiful beach. We've seen tons of turtles every single day, which is great. There's nobody on the beach, just a few locals here and there, but otherwise the beach is completely free of crowds, which has been really nice. We are like major beach goers, so we will do a lot of beach hopping. We generally don't make a very strict plan or schedule as far as activities. We kind of like to show up and have somewhat of an idea of a few things that we'd like to see and do, but then we like to, you know, chat with the locals, get a lay of the land, and then just start kind of exploring and finding stuff to do. And as far as food goes, we just like to hit the local markets and the farmer's markets and load up on fresh produce. And we eat simple. We eat a lot of pasta. We eat a lot of rice and beans and just keep it super simple. And then we do eat out. And when we're on vacation, you know, we eat mostly wholesome food at our Airbnb, but then we do eat out. And I don't, you know, stress if there's some oil in the hummus and the vegetable wrap that I'm eating or anything like that. So course you know that's completely individual but we're pretty relaxed about eating out we're, we're not ordering like fried food and stuff like that just because we're not used to it anyway and we'd get really sick so I will go ahead and let you know all the places that we're going or what they're called and I will put it in the description box for you guys below but yeah it should be a lot of fun